Hello everyone, welcome to the Strategy Meeple's YouTube channel. I'm Kapil and today we'll be continuing our series of looking at the games from the Castles of Burgundy Experts and Above tournament that happened a while ago. So something that I'm going to switch from this video onwards is so far I've been going in order of the games played, kind of, like I covered games from group 1. Um, but I'm going to change it up and I am going to randomly cover some games. Um, so it could be from group 1, 2, 3 or from the encounters. Um, so I'll mention which stage the game is from and then we will uh, look at the game. So this one, the game that we are looking today between Rero and Earl Orridge was from stage 2 encounters. So this means that both these players qualified for stage 2. So this was again like a high level game and let's get into it. So this is a game that was played on board number 8. And it's first edition same board for both players. Okay. So just to give a rough idea about board 8. So this is a board that I did not have a lot of experience playing and then I started playing like I randomly got a lot of games on board 8 so I'm pretty familiar with it now and I actually enjoy playing on it and this is actually I think a very strong spot both these players started at this bottom right with their castle and I totally agree with them the reason is because you get an instant connection to this water over here you get the connection to the mine which can lead to a yellow and to another water you only need one green basically over here to get connection to castle and the water and um, other than that you always have connection to buildings um, yeah like how the board is um, like situated like the regions like you always will be able to place buildings so yeah that is in my opinion like a very strong spot to start okay so Earl is player one and Rero is player number two so Rero rolls a 2 and a 4 and Earl rolls a 5 and a 6. So ideally you want to get a water and a mine. Ideally 2 water so that you can be player 1 into the new round. But in this case Earl cannot grab both the water with a 5 and a 6. So I think the best bet for Earl would be to grab a mine with the 5 and a water with the 6 I think. Let's see what happens. Okay, so yeah, I did not mention that the black market had this tile number 24, which is a really strong tile, especially on board number 8, because you have this huge region of 6 animals that you want to get done. And this tile means that you don't need to wait for the same pair of animals or same type of animals. You can place different types of animals and each different pair that you place will give you like four points so this is a really strong tile so earl decided to prioritize this and rero with the four and a two so with the four i think they should definitely be picking up a water here and with the two they could either go for the castle or they could also go for this yellow tile i'm not sure what they'll end up doing let's see Okay, they do go for the castle. Okay, 6 and a 6 for Earl. Okay. So they... They take workers and then they take the mine, which makes sense because they want this connection. That also helps them connect to this yellow tile that they have just picked up. So that should work out for them. And for Rero, it's 3 and a 3. So this water they shouldn't place till the last turn of this round because um, Earl still has this water in their storage. So until they place their water first, like Rero should hold on to this water. What do they do with a 3 and a 3? I think they just go for this animal and then potentially even place it over here. I think that's a good move. Or I guess the market works too because placing the market allows them to pick up one of these animals. Okay, 5 and a 6 for Earl and 2 and a 5 for Rero. Okay, so they place the mine and then they take yellow tile number 11. 
okay so yellow tile number 11 is an interesting utility tile what it says is whenever you want to place a castle mine or yellow tile you may change the die result by one okay so it's it's like a strong tile especially in phase a so definitely um, they can get a lot of value out of this by placing it on their board early on okay rare with the two and a five i think definitely with the two you should i think they should be placing the the sheep uh, what are these pigs and with the five i think with the five they could go for the carpenter's workshop maybe let's see or they decide to sell goods which is fine too because they want to go into the new round with two silver okay all with a four and a five let's see okay so they place the tile take workers now again whenever you have a utility tile in your storage you want it on the board as soon as possible so that's why they decide to place this tile before placing yellow tile number 24 which is more like an end game scoring tile so it's not going to give them any benefit early on so that's why they placed that utility tile okay rare with the one and a two so that lines up great they can complete their castle here and pick up anything that they want and i actually think i know what they are going to take i think they should be taking the town hall here because that lets them complete this region of buildings down here as well so they they decide not to place it because then they would have had to forcefully place the water or not place any building along with it so it makes more sense to take workers here and now they have like they have a one they have a three and they have a six so they have three potential die roll that will help them place this building and they have four workers too so that's uh, more than enough for them to comfortably place both these tiles okay and they roll a one and a three and all rolls a four and a five okay so four and a five looking at it it's not the best roll for them because like you cannot place this yellow tile easily you'll have to spend two workers for it you could complete your water with the five take two goods but then with the four maybe sell goods because they still need like two oh, i guess they have yellow tile number 11 so they could still place spend a worker to place this yellow tile number 24 but it's going to be hard for all to get two new two silver going into the, into the new round okay they place the water and sell okay and rero goes for completing the buildings and placing the water okay and with the three they pick up a market market is pretty good because it lets you take water and it also lets you take animals and both of these are important tiles on this board usually on any board but on this board especially you constantly need to compete for animals as well so the market can be really strong for it i think they are deciding against it maybe let's see okay all right look at all those animals that showed up in phase b so a lot of sheep show up and looking at the yellow tile so we have yellow tile number four and we have yellow tile number six that shows up and in the black market we have two more sheep and we have a watchtower and we have a boarding house okay and two water so basically if rero wants to be player one in in the next round they will have to pick up both of these water i think that's what they end up doing and they end up buying a sheep too so that works out really good for them okay earl with a one and a three okay so they take two sheep rero with the one and a one so with the one they sell goods and with the other one they take workers okay all with the one and a five okay so they are really starting to pick up these animals now and it really pays off that they are picking all of them of the same type 
So even though they are not getting the bonus out of this yellow tile number 24, it's still like all adding up. Like every animal tile that you place in a game of castles in the same pasture, like you score not only the animals depicted on that tile, but you also add up all animals of the same type already present in that pasture. So just placing these two tiles would give them four plus... Um, so this is four points, this is three plus four, seven, and this would be three plus three plus four, um, so 10. So that'll, that'll add up to almost like more than 20 points. Okay, and Rero with a two and four. Let's see what they do. Okay, so they place the water, they pick up two goods, and they sell goods. Oh, okay, actually they go for a mine, which I do like because um, Earl, would, Earl has like a good connection to the mines. They also rolled a five, so it's very easy for them to pick up this mine and they could even potentially place it. So you don't want to give them that big of a mine advantage in phase B. So that why, that's why Rero went for this mine. Okay, so Earl is going for a yellow completion it seems like and Rero is focusing more on the water game okay three and three so they place the water pick up goods and with the three they take a boarding house okay all with the two and three okay so they take a castle and place another tile of sheep one and a two for Rero, so they complete their region one of mine and with the two they place the boarding house okay one and a six for all they place the castles let's see what they do they place the castle they take workers and then they sell goods for four points okay okay this is the new round, so phase C already. So we have, again, two water on the board. And what else do we have? We have yellow tile number seven in the black market. We have three sets of animals. The sheep is really strong for all. So if I was Rero, I would definitely look at blocking this tile. What else? We have yellow tile number three, which can be a really strong tile. It gives you two silver instead of one whenever you sell goods and there's also two town halls present in the black market okay so rero with a four and a five i think okay let me try to predict what they will do i think they should definitely get this water with the four and with the five i'm almost thinking if they should oh with the five they should get the sheep okay yeah that's a no-brainer i think yeah, the mine is a trap. You shouldn't be going for a mine here. Maybe it's fine, but the sheep is a lot of points for all. So you don't want to give them that tile. Okay, I guess they are deciding to prioritize yellow tile number seven. Okay. Then they place that tile. Okay. Okay, so Rero did not pick up any water over here and there's a reason for that. So the reason is that Earl rolled a one and a one. So with the with one die, they can pick up this water, but they cannot pick up the other water with the one because you would need like three workers. They only have two. The other reason is that if say you even pick up the water and place it right away with the three, then they'll become player one and Rero already has a water in their storage. So they just hold on to this water till the end of the round and they'll be player one regardless. And that's the strategic decision that Rero decided to make. And they did not pick up any water. They decided to instead go for this yellow tile number seven. Okay. Okay, Earl still decides to hop over in turn order 
and become player one and they pick up another pair of animals that is chickens so they really need to just pick up the cows and then they'll only need one animal tile in two phases which i think is possible unless rero blocks them really hard on it so we'll see how it plays out rero with uh, i guess earl with a four and a four because they are player one okay so they pick up the cows and they place the sheep Okay, Rero picks up a town hall and completes that region and places the water, okay. So now Rero gets a double turn and they roll a 1 and a 2, which is not ideal because they want this water. So they'll have to spend like two workers to get it. And what can they do with the 1? I guess they could take boarding house maybe. Let's see. And they decide to go for a watchtower instead. Okay. All right. Earl with a one and a five. So they straight away pick up yellow tile number three and place it and complete their region of four. So looking at the score, uh, it's almost even 82 to 83. So it's a really close game so far. Even though Earl looks like they have a lot of animals. Like Rero still is kind of close. They only need like three more animals to complete this region and they are player one in turn order. So they have a high, they have a very high chance of getting this easily done. Okay, they have a one and a two. The two, they sell goods. Okay. All with a one and a two. Okay, so they take the castle, place the castle, place the animals, okay. So this is the last two turns of phase C for both these players. So Rero with a 2 and a 5 and Earl with a 3 and a 4, okay. Okay, Rero places the sheep and with the 2 they go ahead and place the water right away. Right, and Earl with a 3 and a 4, okay. So these are not good die roll for them because it's not ideal to place both of these animals. So let's see what they end up doing. Okay, they instead pick up the boarding house and place the boarding house. Okay. All right. So we are in phase number D. And this is a very interesting um, showcase of tiles that showed up because in the middle you have this yellow tile number 25 which is really good you have even more sheep so how many sheep came out in this game so one two three four five six wow it's a lot of sheep that came out okay so there's one more that could potentially come out too in phase e what else we have yellow tile number 26 which can be really good too and we have yellow tile number 13 which is a utility tile but it's not that strong and castles is also important because it seems like earl is only one away from completing and getting the bonus for castles rero is in the lead they are at 114 and earl is at 93 points okay so rero does go for yellow tile number 25 i would definitely look at blocking the sheep but it seems it's not that straightforward so maybe they just go for a water here i'm not sure let's see okay so they do prioritize the water with the two they take take away the castle so they do not want to give away that castle bonus to earl all right earl with the one and a two So by picking up these two tiles, they are making it even more difficult for Rero to complete their region of eight animals. I mean, region of six animals. This is actually a really smart move by Earl. By picking up that extra animal that they don't need, they are making it a lot harder for Rero to get three animals. Because if you look, Earl has like one silver, whereas Rero has zero silver. So... What that means is Rero would have to sell two goods to even pick up this, these pigs. Whereas Earl only needs to sell one of these type of goods to pick up this pig. 
and they can just discard one of these animals to get that so really smart move by all we'll yeah i'm really curious to see how rero will end this game like if they'll finish if they'll get to finish their animals or not right now i'm thinking it's not going to be possible for them but let's find out okay so they get the bank actually can they place the bank yeah i think they can take the bank I think that's what they're supposed to do, maybe. Like, discard the castle, take the bank, place the bank, take the animals. Hmm, I wonder if they'll do it. Okay, they instead get yellow tile number 26. Okay. So, Earl has an opportunity. They can sell this too and pick up the pigs to block Rero. Right, and then they place the sheep, getting a lot of points from that. Okay, Rero with a 5 and a 5. So they take the mine now, and then take workers. And Earl with a 2 and a 5. Alright. So they get this yellow tile number 13, bringing them one step closer to getting the yellow bonus for finishing all these yellow tiles, the knowledge tiles. Okay, Herero with the 3 and a 6 and Earl with the 5 and a 6. Okay, so they place both the yellow tile and the mine. And Earl has a 5 and a 6. Okay, so what do they do? So they take workers, they buy a tile with tile number six, they place the water, they take three sets of goods, okay. And final two turns of stage D, so Rero with a three and a six and Earl with a two and a five. So Rero place their water, pick up more goods. I guess they take workers first okay and all with a two and a five so at this point i'm definitely thinking it's going to be almost impossible for rero to complete their animals or even if they do it's going to be at a high cost because they might have to give up the mine the castle so give up a lot to complete the animals so i'm wondering if it's it'll pan out for them okay all with a 2 and a 5 so they can complete their region of 6 animals. And they just take workers. And the score is 124 to 150 right now. And this is the final round of the game, final phase of the game. And Rero will have to make some big moves if they plan on winning this game. They have some good bonuses, but... I mean, Earl also has style number 24, plus they are like also going to finish the yellow regions. So it's really difficult for Rero to... Um, I mean, even if they win, it's not going to be an easy win for them. So let's see what makes the most sense. They could take all three animals here. Will it work out though? Because they could spend a worker to take this they can spend two workers to take this and they can spend two silver to take this but then rest of the rest of this round they are just stuck placing one of each of these animals from their duchy and then all is basically free to pick up whatever tile they want on the board the alternative to this is that Rero competes with castle still goes for it probably still competes for mines goes for it and just hopes that Earl, I mean, Earl could still block them from picking up these animals. Yeah, it's a really tough spot. I don't know what they will end up doing. But it's either of these. If they pick up animals, it's going to be all three of them. I don't think they'll just, they're going to pick up just one of these animals. Um, Actually, now that I think about it, they could pick up the pigs because they already have three pigs. So that'll add up. 
Um, so it kind of does make sense to get all three animals, but then you are giving Earl a big lead. Okay, so they are debating if they want to do that or not. Looks like they do want to do that. Okay. Earl with a one and a two. So they pick up the castle, place the castle, get yellow tile number nine, and they also end up taking yellow tile number five. And the reason for this is now Rero won't be able to finish this region of four yellow. So really smart blocking moves by Earl this game. Really, really strong blocking moves by them. Okay, Rero with a three and a six. So they sell goods and take workers, okay. All with a 2 and a 5, they can just pick up the mine and then they will be blocking Rero from completing the mines as well. Okay, so they pick up the water. Okay, so they pick up the water instead. Okay. And Rero with a 3 and a 5. Let's see what ends up happening here. So they place the pigs and with the three, okay, they place that, okay, let's see. So they place both of their pigs. So the score is 149 to 168. So really, let's say it's still a pretty close game because Rero is going to finish their region of six animals. All with a four and a four. So they pick up the other water and then they sell some, no, so they pick up water, sell goods and then they buy the other water with tile number six. So they are guaranteed to finish their water. Okay. Rero with the one and a two. So with the one, they finish all their animals and with the two, they just take workers. Okay. All with the two and a six. Place a water. With the six, they place the other water. So now they are first in turn order, and it's the last two turns of the game for both these players. Earl with a three and a four. Rero with a three and a six. And if you look at the scores, it's still really head to head 179 for Rero to 176 for Earl. Okay, so three and a four, I think they just complete their water and with the four, they can maybe just, hmm, they can't sell something easily. They're probably just gonna take workers with the four or something. Yeah. Okay, Herero with a three and a six. I guess they can sell both of their goods. Or actually take the mine, okay. That's also a good move. Because that gives them the 5 point bonus for finishing mines. As well as an extra point at the end of this round, okay. So it's 189 to 184. Again, it really comes down to who is scoring more points from their yellow tiles. And... I guess Rero is going to get two extra points from these two mines, but Earl has a lot of goods in their storage. So let's see who wins this. Okay, and Rero wins by two points. So that's a really close game. So the final score is 209 to 207. And yeah, it really came down to that move that Rero went for in the final phase E, like they picked up all three animals. Like if one of those animals didn't show up in the black market, I think they were in a really tough position to make a comeback this game. But it worked out in their favor. Earl played an, a really strong game too. Like the blocking moves that they made uh, for this animal as well as the yellow tiles like really made it hard for Rero to pick up those regions easily and score the bonuses for them. Okay, so looking at some starts, so let's go back to the screen and we can just look at some starts for this game. So yeah, 209 to 207. 
So number of take workers action was almost the same for both these players. Number of sell goods action, so Earl scored more. Number of take tiles action was almost the same, I would say. Play style action was almost the same. Number of tiles bought, so Earl bought more. And that's partly because they had yellow tile number six. So that allowed them to buy tiles more easily. Okay, what else do we have? Number of free actions. So Rero had more free actions. Points with sold goods is tied. Points with regions. Rero got more points here. Points with animals is almost a tie. Points with watchtower. I mean, Rero got four more points. Bonus tile. Bonus tiles. Earl got more points from that. Points from yellow tiles is almost the same. Unsold goods, Earl got some more points. Silver is almost the same. Worker is almost the same. Percentages of double rolled is almost the same. But yeah, ultimately, Rero came out on top. And this was a really strong game. And uh, you can kind of see like the level that these players are playing in this tournament. It was really fun to watch it and like analyze the moves and I hope you all learned something from the decisions that these player make these players make in these games. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. If you uh, enjoyed this content then please like and subscribe. Bye.